Hi, Dan. I haven't seen you since the first time I met you, uh, BotCon 2004. Wow. Uh, we go back a I long way, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to do that for a long time. Uh, anyways, uh, I remember uh, when the first movie was coming out, somebody asked you a question about the movie, and you said, as, uh, what you thought about Bumblebee in that movie, and you said, and this is very funny because I still remember, you said you, you were interested to see how, what they would do as long as it's not... <coughs> Danny DeVito being naked and <laughs> yellow. Um, you said something to those lines. <laughs> Apparently it was a lot funnier at the time. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the big question is, now that the movie's out, and uh, you already partially answered the question, so what do you think of the different character characterization of Bum Bumblebee and not also directed to the, uh, uh, <laughs> your fellow voice actors? What do you think of your characterization of your characters since then? Uh, different iterations of well I, I, I understand I haven't seen uh, the bumblebee movie um, but I understand it's a lot gentler it's, it's kind of a, a girl and her dog sort of uh, sort of movie plot wise um, so I, apparently there's a lot more heart to it which I appreciate because I think we had a lot in addition to all the, the you know as writers in addition to all the, the you know fighting and all the battles and stuff there was a lot of heart going on there was um, you know there's a real bond between these characters and I think that was another reason that this show, uh, really worked is because you believe that these guys had each other's backs and they were loyal to one another and uh, that's from the writing. I mean, that's that's pure writing. Am I wrong? Well, that was Wally Burke. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was the writing. Yeah, it was, was the writing. I was always like, you know, these robots are on Earth. They have no reason to care about the human race. They're involved with a war with another bunch of robots. The human beings just happen to be the little organic life forms that are standing between them. But the Autobots don't do that. Uh, uh, what you think of as a normal ro robot would not care, but the Autobots care because they all these because they're really just metal humans, right? You know, with, and with with circuits and they can be repaired. But it was always to me what was interesting was why would they care about us? Why would they care about making sure we were protected in their fight against the Decepticons? And that to me was kind of where always the human story was. It has to be. A human story, you know, and, and and funnily enough, with the Transformer <coughs> movies, the character with the most character is Bumblebee, who doesn't speak. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only only Peter Cullen is really happy about the Transformers. <laughs> well, no, and, and Frank Welker's back too. I mean, you know, as Megan. <laughs> what is that? No, I. Frank's brilliant. I, I, he's the best. I, he's I, a hero. He's the only voice actor I've ever almost repeatedly demanded on every show. Yeah, I've everybody. I mean, and, and yeah, you guys yeah. know they don't let the help <laughs> into the voice sessions. You know, we don't we don't count. Frank Frank Welker is a pretty cheap. Yes, he is. No, I, I was not trying to diminish. He's Frank. our hero. Yes, he yeah. Okay, well, anyway, thank, thank you. you.